then there's a little bit on the crotch. I don't know what happened with Catwoman. Yeah. Hi everyone and welcome to another... Yeah. I'm... Uh, and I'm really excited because this time I'll be reviewing the DC Comics Multiverse, the Batman vs Superman Armored Batman. They're gonna release a Mayfax figure uh, that's coming out uh, late September, so I'll, I'll be hoping that I could review that for you guys as well. This is part of a Collect and Connect uh, Grapnel Blaster Replica series. I apologize, I don't have the, enough funds to collect an entire series, so... You need, get, you need to get to pick the one that you really like, and I really like this one. So without further ado, let's get straight to the figure. Synopsis on the side, if you want to read it, just give it a pause. Now looking at the figure, you can see like a little uh, battle damage scars here and there as well. And it's a little bit on the crotch, I don't know what happened with Catwoman, but I'm sure it was uh, a heated battle. Yep. Anyways, yeah, a lot of scratches, so I guess... You know, a lot of bullets ricocheting through the armor. This armor has been used a lot of times before. And yeah, a lot of knives, people trying to stab his leg or something. You know, machine guns, bullets ricocheting everywhere, all over his head, his helmet. And for some reason, they, mi they missed his mouth. You know, open target right there. But hey, they keep missing it because the helmet is so well designed. Yeah, so all in all, you can you can see the little belt as well. So I'm glad they modeled everything there. So if and the paint application is okay. So if you want to apply more uh, paint to make it look better, you can. So that's really great. This figure is still customizable to a certain extent. The cape is really heavy. It's made out of hard, sort of like a hard, harder soft plastic. So it sort of pulls the figure back and it falls quite often. So you gotta sort of push the legs. All the way back at least for my figure I have to do that and yeah that's that's how I'm able to make it stand so for the uh, grab no blaster uh, so coming from the fourth figure line I'm assuming that this piece goes somewhere up here see if anyone loses this piece I might be able to sell in the future or something and uh, looking closely at the accessories you have the smoke gun and you have a very big uh, China carved onto it right there so um, I mean that sort of it doesn't help with the whole presentation of uh, having a bad gun you know because everything looks mean menacing this is a really cool looking smoke gun and then you have at the side you have China I guess they need to put it somewhere for his gun for Batman's gun all you got to do is just pop it right in and um, it's a little bit tight in there so you just gotta do something like that and there you go, you have uh, the armored Batman holding his smoke gun. And unfortunately, um, I wish they, they would have like a trigger finger to put it over here, uh, over the uh, trigger or something. But unfortunately, for uh, due to the lack of wrist movement moving in and out, so that's that's the problem of uh, not having it. So you have this kind of problems where the, when you put a, a weapon on onto it and it's like the weapon is sort of uh, pointing outwards instead of straight at you. So in terms of the articulation, it like looks down just a little bit, it's sort of been uh, sort of blocked by the cape behind there so you can't really push it up really high. It has, the arm goes about that far high, it has biceps rotation, it has a single joint elbow, it has forearm move, forearm rotation, it also has wrist rotation, it does not go up and down. You can go all the way high and you can go back as long as, uh, as far as the cape uh, permits it. In terms of the uh, ab crunch, it does not have a lot of ab crunch. It does not go forward at all. I can see if I could show you there. You see, it does not go forward much. It can go back, but it snaps back into place. Like, you know, see that? Yeah, so, it's, so the ab crunch doesn't really do much. And it does have an ab swivel. And uh, the legs, it can do the splits uh, really well. It can go about that far for the legs and it can push back really far as well. Again, as far as the cape permits it. So it's, it's sort of blocked by the cape. It's an upper thigh cut. So you can turn it about, uh, turn it 360 degrees. It has a single jointed, single jointed knee and the legs the feet goes up and down, all the way down and all the way up, but it does not have ankle pivots, so that's a bit of a disappointment right there. And here's a size comparison with the Mayfax Superman, the DC Icon Superman. 
the uh, DC Multiverse, Batman vs Superman armored Batman, and you have the Mayfax Batman. All in all, it's still a an okay figure. I can't say it's a great figure. Uh, I guess it's, it's also a good figure. You can definitely customize it and uh, have your own paint application and sort of, sort of make the silver shine a little bit more. I've seen it on, on YouTube. People have custom painted their armored Batman figure and it looks amazing. So you can definitely uh, make this look better but in terms of articulation unfortunately it, there's still much to be improved. To sum it up, uh, my final verdict for this would be it would be better if you could get this at a discount price. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys. Bruce, Tony, what makes you think you are better? Take away the suit. What are you? The nerd philanthropist, that's my line. I have a stock tower. I have a Wayne Manor. I have a suit of armors. I have a bat cave filled with gadgets. I am a billionaire playboy. So am I. My parents died when I was young. So did I. My parents were shot. My parents died in a car accident. Why are we comparing differences with each other? There are none. We are similar in so many ways. I know. We should be friends. Should we? We shall. Fist bump. Bump. Bros. Thank you.